What's up everybody? Doing a little silver video here for you. Um, this is my one year anniversary of stacking video. This is uh, 430 ounces. It's a, it's a modest stack, but you know, fairly good for after a year, I think. I'm trying to trying to get somewhere around a thousand, so this is kind of a good start. Um, I just, you know, I really, really wasn't going to do a video uh, like this ever. Um, I'm just not the guy for it. Uh, and I never really had that much silver to really blow anyone's doors off and go, hey, you know, look at my look at my stack. But I I am actually doing this because I want to support the inter uh, the silver community uh, that that exists. Um, there's a lot of really great talented people online that are putting out videos quite regularly, and it's really important to the silver community. And I just think that it's important for even the little guy like myself to say, hey, you know, this is what I do, this is what I buy. You know, there's another guy here that, that believes in this, that's passionate about it, that's excited about it, and um, that's dedicated to this. So, you know, I just want to say thanks. You know, thank you to some of the, some of the you know, and you all know their names, you know, Silverfish VT, Salivate Metal. Uh, you know, Mr. Vegeta for the for the coin deal updates, and it's so important what you guys do. So thank you. And um, I just kind of want to take you through what I have. You know, what I've bought. I, you know, I I tend to buy mostly lower mintage government bullion coins that change their appearance annually. I think that's important to seeing a premium increase that I think can protect you or kind of hedge your bets a little bit. Just in case silver stays at 20 for the next 10 years, which, you know, we all don't, you know, I don't think anybody thinks that's going to happen, but, you know, let's face it, if it does, you know, by the time you sell your, your silver on eBay, you know, and you take a hit, you know, to 10, 12% with eBay and PayPal, you know, you can't exactly buy at 20 and sell at 20 and, and, and still do all right. I mean, you're going to, you're going to take a big hit, so... I'm hoping this will kind of hedge my bets in that in that in that in that uh, way. But um, you know, of course, I'm paying more in premiums. Uh, I you know the amount of money I've spent. If I was buying, you know, bars, you know, Royal Canadian Mint bars or or, or Scottsdale silver bars, I, I would have more. I'd have more than 430 ounces. So I I fully recognize that. But you know, you got to go one way or the other. So this is what I've decided to do. Just take you through it here a little bit. Um, first of all, uh, Somali Elephant 2014. Tokalau Lunar Horse 2014. Proof. Reverse Proof. Tokalau Snake 2013. Uh, China Panda 2014. 2013. I got one loan 2012 down there. Somali Elephants 2013. Um, Australia Saltwater Crocodiles, 2014. The Canadian Maple Leaf Reverse Proof Lunar Privies. Got a couple, I got a dragon, a snake, and a bunch of horses. Got the uh, Peregrine Falcons. And they are getting milk spots. Very annoying. I don't know. I, I don't know what Royal Canadian Men is doing. I, you know, that's a whole nother video, but. God damn, get your shit together, please. Um, Garasupa Shipwreck Bar uh, coins, uh, the Isle of Man coins, uh, those are really cool. Got a you know a couple loners up there, Libertad and a um, and Noah's Ark. Um, we got the uh, couple other Rwanda uh, African wildlife coins. Uh, can't, the Pamp Swiss got to have a couple of those beautiful beautiful craftsmanship there uh, and then we got my, my collection of MS 70s and um, I could take you through those real quick uh, we got the 2010 pandas 2012 lunar Perth uh, dragons um, by the way sorry about the noise you know here in New York so if you hear the subway it's just you got to deal with it um, the uh, lunar snake from China uh, we got the uh, Tokelau snake we got couple more pandas, 2007 panda, uh, we got, um, you guys can see the rest, I mean, I don't think I need to name each and every one of these, but uh, this one, really cool, 
uh, my newest edition, 2014 Swiss Wildlife Alpine Ebex Capricorn, ultra high relief. That's a badass coin right there. I mean, it's it's beautiful when you hold it in your hand. So, and I know everyone got their Gods of Olympus and everyone got their wedge-tailed eagles. Well, that's my sleeper right there. So. If you do want to see that coin a little little more closely, I actually have a video that's just of that coin that you can check out. It's 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 just a really beautiful coin. But um that's my stack. This is this is, you know, this is what I've done, you know, one year's worth. I um fairly happy with it. I, I you know, I mean it's it's the route I've you know, it's the path I've chosen. So I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would, you know, choose a different path. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would put, you know, five 100 ounce bars on the table and say, you know what, you know, yours looks nice, but, you know, I've got 500 ounces and you've got 430, so that's what's up. I don't know. Um, I personally hope that these coins follow the same trajectory that they've been following in terms of premium increase. If that's the case, if I go to sell in two or three years, I should be able to make a lot of money. That's what I hope. Let me know what you guys think, because there are a lot of these coins coming out right now. They're coming out seemingly almost every day. You know, a new coin, a new series, uh, a new this, a new that. I mean, you know, just the, you know, to give you an example, the, the Tokelau 2014 horse came out, beautiful coin, had a lot of fire, had a lot of, everybody was talking about it. Uh, they had the reverse proof and the proof and then they had a proof version of the guild uh, a gilded version of the proof and um, it was a hot coin and then you know six months later they just dropped uh, a bullion version with a mintage of like 300,000 something crazy like that so are these are, are these minted are these mints overproducing are they are they diluting the market to the point where there's a chance that my strategy may not be the best. I mean, let me know what you guys think of that. You know, there's a new Lunar series every day. There's a new Wildlife series every day. I mean, is there a point where we could cross a, a line where people just, it just loses its collectability? You know, it's happened with other industries. It's, it, you know, it happened with baseball cards. I know baseball cards are made of cardboard, and this is made of precious metals. I get that. But in the same respect, I mean, baseball cards were, were, were investment vehicles at one point. They still are to some extent, but they overproduced, the market collapsed, and that was it. So let me know what you think, guys. I appreciate it, and um, all the best to you.